We'll do a video guys showing how to do live data logging using a tool called VCDS, otherwise known as VAGCOM. Uh, the vehicle that we're in today is a Volkswagen T6 2 litre TDI common rail Euro 6 engine. Uh, data logs are important to uh, analyse the vehicle prior to any tuning to make sure the vehicle's running correct. Um, you've not got a blocked DPF filter, uh, you've not got a boost leak, uh, you've got correct lamber. Uh, so data logging is paramount uh, both before and after doing any tuning. Any tuning company that's not doing data logs, they're not doing the job correctly and you could end up with a very unsafe vehicle. So if we go on to select control module, and then we go on to the engine. That's what we want to uh, data log today. Yes, we can data log other control units, uh, but we're just gonna concentrate on the engine. Then we go down onto the advanced measuring values. And this brings you with this window here. You can individually go down uh, everything and select what you want, or I've got predetermined one's what's saved so we've got the euro six now we've got the requested boost pressure uh, air mass intake air temp your limiters both your torque and smoke uh, engine rpm uh, injection quantity you've got your actual boost we've got a cylinder charge uh, request an actual we've got as turbocharger egt uh, Temp sensor, this is a temp sensor pre turbo in your manifold, and then we've got as lambda. Uh, now, if we press the turbo button at the top, what this does, it speeds the sample rate up, the recording sample rate, meaning that we get a lot more data saved. Now, if we go down onto the log button at the bottom, uh, you can browse wherever you want to save it, you can save it onto your desktop, uh, you can save it to your C drive, or save it wherever you want. I save them into the uh, default log folder. Now, date logging on the dyno, we date logging fourth gear, uh, get the vehicle into fourth gear, foot flat to floor and accelerator, then press start on the log, and we'll log one complete gear. Uh, once we get into the red line, we press stop on the log and uh, put the vehicle in neutral. Now, if you're date logging on the road, obviously you need to be careful, you need to have a good long straight road on an incline there's no point in data logging going downhill you want you want load on the vehicle so you want to uh, data log going on an incline take a passenger with you and have them operate the laptop or put the laptop on the passenger seat and uh, press the start button when you get into gear so we'll get it into test gear now Right, we're in fourth gear now. And we press start on the log. And we're 100% full throttle. You've got to be 100% full throttle through the full data log. Uh, if you do let off or if there is traffic, cancel the data log and restart it completely again. Uh, you have to be 100% full throttle through the full log. And you've got to go up to the... Uh, red line as well so put the vehicle into neutral now and we've pressed up and we've done a log a fourth gear full throttle we open the folder up we can see we've got his data log there you can see we've got excellent sample rate got your injection quantity you can check got uh, intake air temps the exhaust gas temp your lambda everything's there um, any tuning company that are flashing files for uh, other tuning companies uh, data logging is paramount you can see what increases of injection quantity you can see what uh, increases of boost pressure you can see what increases of your EGTs your intake air temps uh, you can see everything there, as everything's recorded. So you can see what your tuner has actually done in the software. Uh, you can also save these data logs for the vehicle. 
both before the tune and after the tune. So if your customer ever rings you up about anything, you've got the date logs what you can uh, you can review. So that's how to do a date log using VCDS.